Hi everyone, I'm Kunal Sodani from Global Trading Center, Shenan Bank, India. And we are here to talk about the global macro trends, understanding and decoding them in our analysis on several currency pairs. Uh, talking about the trade deficit numbers, we have seen numbers of $19.8 billion for the month of December. Uh, so it has narrowed down to a three month low and uh, our anticipation of current account deficit is around 1.5% uh, for Q4 2023-2024 versus 1% a quarter ago. If we talk about FPI flows, we have seen outflows in equities of around 9,300 crores for the month of January, while we have seen inflows of around 16,900 crores when it comes to debt. So net, we have still seen inflows of around 4,400 crores uh, in our country, which still remains positive. So there remains a consolidation phase uh, at this point in time. Uh, talking about the CPI number and uh, the monetary policy which will be coming in the month of February. So we are expecting uh, a bit stickiness in core inflation though we have seen core inflation cooling off sharply to 3.8% versus 4.1%. So it's almost a four year low when, it, uh, when we talk about the core inflation. But the overall inflation number print was 5.69%. We anticipate the CPI number to be around 5.9% uh, for the coming print. While we have another important event that is budget. Uh, where we expect now because it's election uh, which may come in April or May, the date is not yet finalized. Uh, but then it can be a populist budget uh, or it's a vo voter aspiration budget or we are talking about more economic sensibilities. So according to us, uh, it has to be a balanced budget uh, where the focus will remain on public-private partnerships. It will be more on the green revolution, uh, renewable space and it will be more on digitalization and innovation. Uh, so we anticipate uh, a very very economic sensible budget going ahead considering uh, the fiscal deficit number to be around 5.5 percent of the GDP. Uh, if we talk about the global macro trends, uh, the Fed particularly the speakers are now being quite hawkish. By hawkish I mean the anticipation of rate cuts which were quite aggressive have cooled off a bit where the anticipation for the year 2024 was around 6 to 7 cuts it has cooled off to around 4 to 5 cuts now. We have the FOMC meeting lined up for 31st of January, though anticipation is simple status quo. Uh, even with RBI policy, we anticipate to be a status quo. But for RBI, we particularly, we don't see any kind of uh, rate movement in the first quarter itself. Uh, also talking about how the other currencies have been uh, you know, panning out and it's important to understand how Euro dollar particularly is panning out considering dollar index. Uh, it has a major share of 59% uh, in DXY. So for Euro dollar, uh, we saw the policy and the policy remains status quo. Uh, plus going ahead, what we are anticipating is how Christian Lagarde has been quite clear that she is not eyeing any kind of rate cuts until summer, where she has been clear about it only and only when the economic data has been supportive, then we may think of. So I think the easing with ECB may take time. On the other hand, for UK, retail sales have been on a declining phase. Uh, which is challenging for the UK front. So we don't anticipate any kind of rate cut in the month of February from the UK as well, that is Bank of England. Uh, for levels, particularly for Euro dollar, we are anticipating around one point, uh, in a narrow range of at about 1.0810 to 1.0950, wherein for GBP, we are anticipating 1.2560 to around 1.2880. Uh, for dollar yen, uh, we had the policy, nothing, no change in the yield curve process and control. Uh, and uh, broader range continues to be 142.40 on the lower end with uh, an immediate spike maybe around 150 big figure levels. Purely talking from the dollar rupee perspective, we need to understand two more factors that is dollar CNH. Chinese Yuan is looking forward to cut its triple R that is the reserve ratio, reserve requirement ratio and uh, effective on fifth. Now this happens which means China is pumping around 139 billion dollars into the system. Uh, not much impact on dollar CNH pair, it still hovers around 7.16 with a base of around 7.10 on the top side around 7.25. Uh, on the other hand, Brent crude prices um, still remain sticky considering the Middle East crisis. Uh, so I think uh, buy on dip still continues to be an important uh, trajectory from that perspective with $72 acting as a strong base on the lower end and the immediate resistance may come around $83 per barrel. For dollar rupee particularly, if we talk about, we see a recent low of around 82.80, bouncing back towards 83.20.25 levels. So the consolidation may continue for some more time with the base coming at around 82.70, uh, while on the right side, 83.35 remains an immediate, immediate resistance. So that's all from my side, friends. Uh, wishing you all a very happy and investing good week for you all. Thank you so much.